Hey guys, uh, how's it going? Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to install uh, the Obsidian Tools mod for Minecraft 1.2.4. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and get, let's get started. Uh, uh, first of all, here's what you will need. You will need uh, the, latest, the, the latest version of Mod Loader. So Mod Loader 1.2.4 is, uh, is the current latest version. And also the Obsidian Tools mod. I will have both of those links in the description down below, right under the video. Um, then, uh, so, so the first link is going to be in the Obsidian. Uh, in Obsidian, it says version 1.1, .1, but it's for 1.2.4, uh, as you can see. So if you go ahead and click the download, it could be download button. You, uh, you can just save it wherever you want. Um, you click the save as, and I'll show you guys that I already have this. Have this. So if I save it to my desktop, save. Click open. Uh, so there you go. Got that open. Uh, now uh, the next link is going to be an add to fly link. So if you haven't used this before, this any of these links before, so let me just go ahead and refresh this page. Uh, it's going to start at five. And it's going to go all the way down to zero. Uh, these are going to be all ads. But if you ever see like uh, like download now, click here to download. Your download will begin shortly. Just click here and stuff. And those are just ads. Don't click on those. Your download actually starts up here, so it starts at 5 and goes all the way down to 0. And you can just go ahead and press skip add, and your download should begin down here. Already, I've actually already got it, so I'm just going to close out of that. So once you've got Modeler and the Obsidian tools, then you can just go ahead and uh, launch Minecraft. It's the first thing you're going to want to do. So let's go ahead and launch Minecraft. Click run. You can see Minecraft 1.2.4. And you're going to go options, force update, done and log in. Uh, I recommend doing a force update because sometimes uh, mods don't correspond well together but you don't have to do a force update but if you don't do a force update and you get a crash it's probably because you didn't do a force update so I recommend doing a force update or if you ever install this guy's mod and it doesn't work and you get a black screen or I don't know or I don't know um, you just go ahead and go options do a force update and log in then your minecraft.jar will be set back to its original state state so uh, now let's go ahead and go open our minecraft.jar if you guys don't know where, where, how, to get, how to get to there let's go ahead and go search programs and files uh, you get, uh, wait a second uh, when the bar is loaded uh, your minecraft uh, the, when your minecraft is finished loading you can just go ahead and close out of that then go to this uh, your search programs and files and hold shift and hit the numbers fi uh, 5 which will give you percentage sign so percentage a p p d a t a percentage app data percentage and hit enter uh, then once that is open uh, you're gonna go, go into your dot minecraft then into your bin folder and then into uh, uh, minecraft don't double click on it you get an error so you're gonna go right click it go open with WinRAR archiver or you can also open it with 7-zip or any type of zipping uh, zipping thing, zipping file. Or, uh, if, you, if you guys don't have WinRAR then just go ahead and you can go ahead and download that or I'm not, uh, you guys can search up a video on YouTube how to install it. Then you can just go ahead and close out of that and leave your minecraft.jar open which is here. Now if you did do a force update uh, you will see metainf in capital letters, so just go ahead and delete that. Delete files, yes. So there you go, we just deleted that. You will want to delete that uh, because it's like an anti-mod thing. Uh, it's a quick way to explain it. It will, it will make your Minecraft crash if you don't delete metainf folder. So then now uh, you're gonna go find your mod loader wherever you saved it at. Then you can double click that. Uh, I just named it like that. I felt like it. Uh, then you're gonna click and drag all of these class files from vx.class, so this class file right here, all the way up to, let me just try some, and all the way up to adl.class. So, so you can, you can either click hold control or click every single one of them. Then we're just click and drag. So you grab all of these full class files. Full. You don't need this top file folder. It's just use this as a blank folder. So click. You can't really. You can't copy and paste. So you're gonna have to click and drag these. Let me say. Um, just put this over to the side. Uh, you're gonna click and drag these down here. Make sure not to drop them up here because there is a possibility that they will fall into one of the file folders which will make your Minecraft crash. So make sure you drop them down here so there's, there's no folders. There's no chances of them falling into whatever folders. 
it's all safe. Uh, then once you uh, put modloader.zip into your minecraft.jar, you can just go ahead and close out of modloader and open up obsidian, the obsidian tools. Put this over to the side. Uh, close out of that if that pops up. Then use some more instructions. And download and install modloader for 1.2.4. But then you're just gonna want to double click on this. Hit these file. Then uh, you're just gonna uh, click and drag all these three class files and these two file folders. So click and drag these same same again. Don't drop them up here because there's a possibility of them falling to one of the file folders. Just drop them down here and hit OK. And there you go. Uh, it's we're done practically. So that if we launch up Minecraft, everything will go, work well. So, uh, so that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, this this tutorial was uh, just it's pretty easy. Just click and drag all the uh, file folders and. That's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you guys out. Uh, if you have any problems installing this mod, then leave me a comment and I'll do my best to help you guys out. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll do my best to help you guys out. If you uh, leave a like if this video helped you guys out, and uh, feel free to subscribe as I do post daily videos. And you can click the subscribe button button at the end of the video. I have an, I'll have another window opening up, which will you can click on the subscribe button or click to see any of my previ previous previous videos or one of my future videos if it's out already. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. You guys have a nice day. Peace.